Okay, I'm in the back of a police car. I'm in cuffs. Help me. After Help Emily me. Neal was arrested in Adel, Georgia in April, she okay, appealed to friends on Snapchat. How were you feeling in that moment? I was terrified. The graduate student had finished her studies in Tennessee. On the way back from a road trip, she was stopped by Cook County, Georgia police for speeding. She gave the officer her Ontario driver's license. And she kept saying, no, Canadian licenses are not accepted. I was flabbergasted. I just kept saying this can't be right. Look at the truck drivers, look at people, snowbirds, people who vacation. A Canadian license is always valid. Neil said the officer wouldn't accept digital copies of her passport and Nexus card to confirm she's Canadian. Instead, she was cuffed and charged with driving without a license and speeding. It was the most horrendous incident of my life, I would say. It was mortifying. I was terrified. Hours later, she was released after paying a bond of more than $900, her next goal to get the charges dismissed. And I remember as soon as I took my fingerprints, they kept saying, you're now in the system. Georgia's government site says you can drive in the state with a valid foreign driver's license. It goes on to say that an officer can ask to see a passport or visa to verify a license if available. Let's take a look at a bit more of this. After Canadian consulate authorities and a lawyer took up the case, Neil's charges were dropped. We went ahead and just dismissed it as quickly as it came to my attention. I just felt like it probably became a bigger deal than it should have been, considering that she had, she was here studying and you no know, prior trouble. And this Toronto lawyer isn't surprised by this. This is probably not the first time that it's happened and it won't be the last time that it happens. Court officials expect to have her record expunged in a couple of weeks. I just cried with joy. I was just so happy because I just kept thinking this would ruin me. Neil is now back home in Kleinberg, but she still wants answers. At least with the officer who arrested me, I would love to see a formal reprimand. An apology is what I would love the most. And Magda joins me now. So, Magda, are we any clearer on why this seems to have happened to her? Well, the lawyer that we talked to couldn't see a very good reason for it, but the Cook County Sheriff's Office has released a statement in which they dispute much of Neil's account. So they're saying that she said she lived in Tennessee and because she didn't have a Tennessee driver's license, that is what prompted the arrest. They also say that, you know, the police force has the authority to set a bond, even with a speeding charge, when it comes to a driver who does not live in the country. Okay, so they're not backing down at all? Not at all. Okay, Magda, thanks very much. Thank you.